In the 2017 NEC, there was an effort to bring the requirements for GFCIs in regard to appliances to a single location. There was a limitation to those 250 volts and less and operating at 60 amps or less. The 2020 edition maintains a similar grouping of the appliances, but it also adds sump pumps and dishwashers to the list of items. Sump pumps had been required to be GFCI protected in previous editions, but only in certain locations. Now the NEC specifies that they must be GFCI protected in all locations. They may be provided with integral GFCI protection, but if they're not, they have to be provided with Class A GFCI protection. Dishwashers also already require GFCI protection, but now the NEC has relocated the requirement from Article 210, where the focus is now on branch circuits, to Article 422. Being housed in 422 simplifies requirements for all appliances in the same location. And one other note about the relocation of dishwashers to 422 is that the qualifier in 210.8 requiring dishwashers in dwelling units was simplified to just dishwashers. Now, all dishwashers, whether in dwelling, commercial setting, or otherwise, must be equipped with GFCI protection. There were a few other modifications made to 422.5a. The first included the removal of the wording provided for public use when dealing with auto vacuum and tire inflation equipment. Also, the term bottle fill stations was added to water coolers to align with the international building codes. With the increased use of reusable bottles, more and more bottle fill stations are being installed with or replacing water fountains. The last item I'd like to address before looking closer at this change is the subtle change in language that requires a Class A GFCI. You might be asking, what's the difference? A Class A GFCI is one that's designated to trip at a ground fault of 5 milliamps, whereas a Type B is designated to trip at a ground fault of 20 milliamps. These Class A devices being specifically called out in the language results in the other language change in the parent text that was 250 volts to ground and now becomes 150 volts to ground. That is the threshold for a Class A GFCI device. Let's look at the change.